everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a nail tutorial and it's been so requested for me to do a nail tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's not my watermelon nails but I will do that soon. So this is what the finished product looks like. Um, sorry, I have some like dirt on my hands. I don't even know where that came from. But um, this is what it looks like. It was kind of inspired by Paisley bandanas. Um, so I thought it was very appropriate for the summer and it's really easy to do. And Sorry there is a loud car in the background, but I hope you guys enjoy this nail tutorial and if you have any more requests for nail tutorials, please post them um, in the comments below and I will probably do that for you. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I already did my left hand, so this is what the finished product looks like. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that on this hand. So the first thing that I did is I went ahead and put on a base coat and what I like to do is put on my Nail Teaks Nail Protein in Formula 2. It's my favorite one. It's really, really um, good for the nail. Okay, so once that is completely dried, you can go ahead and put on um, the nail color that you want. Now, I like to do red, but you can do like a pretty blue color or a yellow color, any kind of paisley bandana color. So I used a red, and the nail color that I used was this one by Depend, and this was number 40. And I actually got this when I was traveling in Europe, so I don't know if you can get this in the States at all. I'm pretty sure you can't. But just any kind of color that you want, you can get reds anywhere. This is just the one that I'm going to be using. Once you have your main nail color down, we can go ahead and do the design. Now I'm going to zoom up a little bit for you guys so you can see this a little bit more closely. This is what we're going for and you can do any kind of colors that you want. And then on the thumbnail we have this design right there. So I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit. Um, but I like to do it on my ring finger. You can choose any nail to do your accent nail on. Or if you want to, you can do this nail design on every single nail. Uh, but I just like to do it on one nail. So. I'm going to be using my Midgey Nail Art pens and they're dual ended so they have um, two different colors and you can kind of like put any two colors that you want but I actually got these at iMats but you can get these online and I will link them in the description box below so you guys can go check them out um, but I'm going to be using this shiny white color right here and then the black color right here but it comes with a ton of different nail colors so you can choose whichever ones you want or and you can use any brand that you want to you don't have to use these ones but these are just what I have on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the white color. To start out, we're going to draw a line um, from the inner part of our nail right here. So we're going to start on one end. And gently, you can do this really slowly. Um, we got right there. Sorry if I was out of the picture. Once you have your line drawn, we're going to draw another line a little bit bigger um, on the outside of it. So we're going to start from the edge here and do them pretty close together. Oops. Sorry you guys can't really see there. Okay. So we're going to do this one a little bit bigger. Just like that. And make sure that your red is dry. Mine was a little bit um, wet right there so it's kind of messed up. So there we go, we've got two lines. And then we're going to kind of make like flower petals on the side here. So what we're going to do is just start making semi-circles. And make sure that you're not putting out too much polish because you want this to be pretty thin. And once you have that, we're going to draw another line right here. And we're going to draw this a little bit closer to the inner part of our nail. So leave a little bit of space. And we're just going to go like that. Okay, so once you have that, then we're all done with the white on this nail. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the black. So, oops, if you guys can see it right there. Okay, so I'm going to take my black nail art pen and we're going to start drawing... Um, little dots in between where we left the big space um, between those two lines right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's up to you how many dots that you want to do and how big or small. So just be creative and do whatever you want to do. Okay, so I just did four little dots right there. And then 
we're gonna go ahead and this is totally optional as well but I outlined the flower petal like design on the outside with a little bit of black just to kind of make it a little bit more standout-ish and a little bit more fun so I'm going to go ahead and do that and that is the finished product for um, the nail design on that finger so I'm gonna zoom you guys out a little bit and then I'm gonna show you what we're going to do on our thumbnail so this is what the thumbnail looks like it's really simple but it kind of brings together the design instead of just being on the accent nail so um, this is what we're going to do so again we're going to go ahead and take our pen or white pen if I can find where it is okay um, and then we're going to draw a big line like we did earlier Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to draw another one closer to the corner of the nail. Just like that. And then we're going to go back in with our black and do the same dots that we did earlier on our other nail. Sounds like it's thundering out or something, but it's not even stormy out, so I don't know why it's making those noises. Okay, so that is what it should look like. Okay, so these are our finished nails, and then once these dry, we're going to go ahead and put on a clear top coat. And the top coat that I am using is the Revlon Quick Dry Top Coat. I really like this one. It's very inexpensive, and it dries my nails really quickly so they don't smudge and get um, stubbed on other things and then get ruined. So you want to wait a few minutes. Um, to let your nail polish dry and especially these designs but if you are using the midi nail art pens these actually dry really quickly so I, it's what I really like about those um, so you don't have to wait a super long time but I still like to wait a few minutes just because I don't want them to smudge and be extra careful um, after doing your designs so I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I will be right back okay so I lied it actually is starting to rain on me I didn't even this doesn't even look stormy out but I'm gonna do this quickly so I'm just going to put on my top coat It was super sunny and warm just a few seconds ago, and now I guess it's raining, so um, I'm not going to put any top coat on these two nails just because it's not ready to dry yet, and it's actually raining on me right now. Once these dry, I'll definitely put a top coat on because it's very important to put a top coat on so that it stays on longer and lasts longer so you can enjoy your nails longer. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the fun nail tutorial. I hope it wasn't too hard, and if you do it, please post yours as a video response below so I can go watch them. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!